Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. DevOps channel. So today I will be demonstrating about how to install Jenkins on Ubuntu server. So many of you are facing issues with the libraries or the keys, public keys nowadays. So many, I have received many of the responses. So that is why I came back with this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. After this, this will be very easy for you to install the Jenkins server. Okay. So first step would be like you have to create an EC2 instance. Okay. So the instance should be Ubuntu as per the lab I'm showing. Ubuntu. Either you can create a uh, 20.04 or you can create 22.04. This is going to work with both of the version or pre prior version as well. Okay. Once you will create this, you have to do what? You have to enable two things. First is SSH and second is port 8080. Okay. In order to access the UI of the Jenkins. Okay. To access the UI of the Jenkins and this is to access the the server by default it will be already open okay once you will enable that the third thing what you have to do okay you have to ssh to the server okay once you will do ssh to the server so once you will enable this port 22 then only you would be able to ssh to the jenkins server okay once you will connect to the server what you have to do you have to run some commands Okay, so these are you can say these are the steps also we will be following in order to execute in order to install the Jenkins so you will not face any issues from now onwards. So first thing you have to do you have to update the system. Okay, so first thing you have to do what you have to be a super user. Okay, once you will become a super user you have to do what you have to update the system apt update and why why is just to suppress the yes or no thing okay once you will update it just try to upgrade it as well okay once i will upgrade it so what is the prerequisite to install jenkins hmm? so you should install jdk first install jdk first so jdk version should lie between version 11 to version 17 okay in this version you have to install this how you will install this you have to use the same command apt install apt install open jdk mention the version particular version i am going to install the latest complete latest that is 70 and here you have to mention the jrd once you will hit this command once you will hit this command now once the prerequisite is done you, you can you have to go to one site that is jenkins.io okay where from where you will get few commands and that you need to execute to the ec2 instance okay so once you will execute those all command to the ec2 instance after certain times you should be able to check like how you will check the Jenkins has been installed or net, not how to check this is one of the troubleshooting question right how we can confirm the Jenkins is running or not right so first thing you have to do you have to use this command system ctl status Jenkins okay so using this same command you can do various operation like this is the sub this is the package you have downloaded for jenkins okay this is a service you have installed onto the system so using the same command you can do many things like either you can check status or you can restart if it is not running if you want to stop it you can stop it if you want to just start it you can do that as well right so basically what we will be doing here we will be just mainly focusing on this system ctl status Jenkins so that we can check the Jenkins status is active or not okay once we you will check it is active then what we will do since we know like Jenkins we can access on 8080 port right so for that what you have to do you have to take the EC2 EC2 IP and 
the ATAT port in the browser and you have to check running or not you will be able to access the web page ok so let's do these all things let's quickly create a EC2 instance first so I am going to the console just click on launch instances just provide some name here just click on Ubuntu you can choose any version either it is 22 or 20 let's go with the latest version here since I am going for the lab purpose just to show you the installation so I will be choosing this free tire after that you need to choose any key so that it, you would be able to access the key or you can not choose as well okay if you have enabled the SSM agent and all then in that case you don't need to configure these all things so let's choose it as of now coming to the network setting right coming to the network setting what are all the ports we have to enable so first is SSH and second is port 8080 right so those all things we have to enable here SSH you will see already it is enabled we will add one more just choose let it be custom TCP only and here you just have to choose the port number 8080 once you will choose it here you have to choose anywhere okay or based on any CIDR range you want to give you are open to provide that here I will keep this same storage okay so what are all the things we have done to installation so we have created the EC2 instance right and we have enabled the SSH as well like port this port now we have to SSH to the server let's go back to the server when you will click on this you will land it here and here you have to wait for some time okay once you are here you have to choose your running server this is your running server just try to click on connect so only if you have enabled the SSH port 22 then only you would be able to access this EC2 instance otherwise no just click on connect and let's wait for some time until it will establish the connection with the EC2 instance which we have created so as you can see here either you can access this VM using putty and what I have done I have directly tried to access this using AWS console okay so here you can see this is my public IP and this is my private IP of the server right so what was the first thing we have to do now let's check so first thing what we have done we have done the SSH to the server and we have to run those commands now correct so first is become a super user then we have to run these commands so let's be a super user first once I became a super user I will update it Apt update I can try to suppress the yes or no kind of thing okay it is going to take some time alright so once this is done what is the next command we have to do we have to upgrade so apt upgrade and hyphen y and that is enough to upgrade this ubuntu server so this is going to take a bit more time so let's check our checklist what are the things we have done till now so we became the super user tick we have done the update part we have done the upgradation as well which is in progress right now we would be needing this prerequisite right to install the ja sorry to install the jenkins java need to be installed onto the particular system okay and so this is the command to install the jdk java version so once we will do run this command we can check the java version as well using this command we can check java hyphen version once you will hit the command you will get something like 70.0 version we would be able to see that let's get back to the system so it is about to finish so it is almost done now just click on ok ok once the upgradation is done what is the next command we have to do we have to install the prerequisite right so what is the prerequisite for this we have to install the jdk so what is the command that is apt install open jdk hyphen 17 version cherry and just keep a hyphen y and then let's wait for some time once this is this will get installed we will 
go to the Jenkins.io website as we have discussed and we will see the steps. So this is the latest video of installation on Jenkins because nowadays many website has not yet upgraded the commands to install Jenkins. So that is why I have to come back with this particular thing. So let's wait until the system. Okay, just hit on OK. And now we will check either the Java has been installed or not. So Java hyphen version, just hit enter, and you can see here the OpenJDK version is 17.0. Right. So let's go back to the checklist. So we have installed the JDK version, right? And we have uh, we have installed the JDK 17 using this command, and we have checked the Java as well. Now we have to go to Jenkins.io, right? So let's go back to the console and here I will search for Jenkins.io right once you will come here what you have to do you have to go for documentation this is a very beautiful picture I think this is for Ukraine and Russia war right Jenkins is standing with the people of Ukraine so nice so let's go to documentation click on Jenkins and if you will come to the left side you can see here you have to choose the particular system I am going for Linux and what is the uh, what is the installer so like what is the distribution Linux distribution you are using currently I am using Ubuntu 20 uh, 22.04 right so these are the commands you have to take from here this is for long term support and this is weekly release so if you will use that you have to continuously update maybe you need to do that let's go for long term support that is enough for us and let's paste the command and hit enter see that is why hyphen y after the command is important okay, it is not mandatory but we should use the shortcut if we are aware of this all right so what are the thing we have done till now so so we have went for this jenkins.io and we have ran some is some commands onto the ec2 instances and now we have to check either the jenkins is running or not correct so let's go back to the console so system link is getting created now so you can see here this is our service for that it is creating a system link just hit enter ok and soon i will be updating my cell script as well so that it would be very easy for you ok otherwise you can do what you can list out all the command and send me a request PR, I will try to approve it. Okay, once I will verify that, that would be a great help. So now let's come back to the topic. Now we have to check uh, the status of the Jenkins. So what we have to do? We have to do what? System CTL status Jenkins, right? That is what we need to do. So once you will hit this command, you can see that uh, this is your Jenkins is active and running, right? And how we can access that? So for that, you need to use this public IP go to your console and just provide the ATAT that port you have enabled into the security group that you have attached to the instance right so once you will hit here you will come to this page correct so now we have seen this as well our Jenkins is running right we have done what we have seen this as well now we will see the installation so that it would be ready for us right let's get get back to the browser again this is our browser and here you have to take this path just go back to the instance stance and once you are checking the status you have to press ctrl c then only you would be able to come out of this so again let me try to hit ok i am out of this so i have to check the first password so this is the first password just provide the path and take this and again go back to the jenkins server and here you have to provide the initial password ok this is the first time then after that you have to configure the Jenkins like uh, by providing the username and the password and the email right so that is what is going to be your final user user ID and the password okay and this is this will try to do what this will try to install all the basics or uh, basic plugin that is required to run this Jenkins like you can see it is installing your get here it is installing your pipeline folders email extension and workspace cleanup these are the some like you know basic 
basic plugin that should be required or you can do what you can customize those plugin based on your need based on your need you can install or disable these all plugins okay it is taking more time once this is done let's just do what let's just configure the user first so that from the next time we can make use of this user id and password to login i'm keeping everything same okay now just click on save and continue right you can click on save and finish and this is how your jenkins is up and running now so now you there is no any blocker to do my project right so just visit my channel there is 70 plus of real time project if you are not new right if you are aware then that is good if you are not aware then go back to my channel you will get a lots of project from beginner to advanced level okay that is free of cost no need to right thanks for watching bye if you really like this video please like and comment down thank you so much